Mr. Ward, can you tell me what this day means to you, bringing back all the alums from the Negro Ensemble Company? Well, it's remarkable. It's remarkable. And uh, we survived. <laughs> but it's wonderful to see all of the, all of us who still exist, and homage to those who don't exist, who contributed so much to the golden era of, of, of black theatre and American theatre period. So it's a wonderful uh, accomplishment. What is the legacy of the Negro Ensemble Company? Imperishable. Uh, we created a body of work. We created a trained personnel in every phase of theatre. Uh, so it's uh, something that cannot be removed from American uh, creativity. And, and so it, it just, just uh, the legacy is enduring, you know, and that, that, that's the most important thing. The, the playwrights, the actors, now everybody know who the actors are, but they don't know about the uh, hundreds of other personnel in every phase, in every, every aspect of theater craft that we help to develop, train, expose, and, and the art that we create through our productions. My first moment, uh, favorite moment, was the day we all gathered for our first meeting upstairs. Mm. And I looked around, and most of us had been working in companies where we're probably the only black person there. But suddenly in this room, I looked around, and I saw that we had everyone we needed to do what we needed to do. How did it feel being a part of the, the genesis of what became the Negro Ensemble Company? Well, it uh, felt, I didn't know it was the genesis of anything. I was just happy to get a job doing it. And when um, I, my interview with Douglas Turner Award went like this, he said, well, I'm starting this company and I want you to think about perhaps doing it. And I thought for 12 seconds and I said, I'm, I'm there. I don't care what the rules are. <laughs> I'll do it. So that's how that happened and uh, I didn't know it would change my life. I didn't know I'd be here a half century later dealing with it. But it was uh, the basis of everything I ever did after that. I thought about it and I realized the most profound thing that I can ever say to you is thank you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Were it not for you and Bobby and Jerry and NEC, I would not be where I am today, I would not be acting in these places that I am blessed to be acting. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Good.